Brett Lutz here. I am Mike Gallagher. Brett, good to see you again. Back, see in, our, you, back in our weekly yeah. football updates. Uh, you know, it's kind of a dreary day outside, but again, we are the bearers of good news, folks. Uh, if you didn't get out to see the Augies last Saturday, a 35-7 win over Martin Luther College. Brett, uh, Marcus Brown up Brum again with a big game. But you know, they, they put up 35 points, but really the story for the first two games has been the defense. You know, the defense has been very spectacular, only giving up 17 uh, points in the two games combined. Uh, you had Adam Eve with 16 tackles this game, and six under, or, uh, upperclassmen overall had seven or more tackles. So uh, for the defense going into this game against Hamlin, that's really got to be a confidence booster. And for the entire team, you've got to be feeling good. Yeah, you, have, you can talk about the senior leadership and the juniors that they have, you know, like the defensive backs and John Hibbs, uh, Ty Phillips, and Dane Bates, who have played really well, you know, now are multi-year starters. I think that the key, the key is that I've seen, you know, I'm obviously there early setting up for the concession stand, as some of you might know. So I see, you know, there's Adam Meats in there, there's headphones on, he's got the playbook, he's going through, he's just getting mentally focused, you know. A lot of these guys, Dane Bates is sitting over there stretching out kind of by himself. You know, it starts before the game, you see these seniors, they've been around the block, they know how to mentally prepare for a game, I think that's what really carries them on the field and they have these great performances. Talking to the offensive side of the ball, clearly the play of the game with Marcus Brum, uh, right before the half, uh, hooking up with Hakeem Born, Born McFarland on a 41 yard Hail Mary, I guess you can call it. I mean, time's expiring, and you throw it up for a guy that we've talked about, Born McFarland, before. He's I got an NFL body. You know, he was at Winona State, transferred here, uh, now is a first year. He's a big guy. He's really a big asset for the audience in that red zone when you get down uh, close to the goal line. Yeah, I feel like it was deja vu from that Vikings game to the 49ers last yeah. year, Brett Favre, Thunder, Greg Lewis. But yeah, you talk about. You know, Hakeem Martin McFarland, man's body. He can go, go up and get those jump balls. And there's, even if the corners are bigger than him, they're not going to be able to rip it away from him. But I think it was a real, a very demoralizing play for Martin Luther College because you saw them kind of hang with the Aggies early, get interception early in the game, force some turnovers, get some three outs against the Aggie offense. And they really were kind of getting some momentum. You know, the coaches were getting fired up. Players are, you know, jumping around the sides. They're ready to go. Going in at halftime, 14 nothing isn't that bad on the road. You know, get a couple bounces in the second half could have, you know, could make it a different game. But that 21 to nothing score with the hail mary down the half is really demoralizing. Yeah, you talk about that hail mary. Thankfully, he didn't pull Calvin Johnson and drag it across that's the ball. That's Celebrating, that's a good thing for the Aggies. But now going forward, you know, you're two and zero. Like we were talking about, lots of confidence. You have to, you have to maybe be a little realistic. You know, you have to take a step back and be like, you know, you scored 97 points, you only allowed 17. Two inferior opponents, though. You know, uh, Martin Luther was picked to finish second in the UMAC, but the UMAC is not quite on the level of the MIAC, as we've seen time and time again. So, when you look at, you know, when you look at the upcoming opponents in the MIAC, and you have the Augies picked to finish seventh in the coaches' poll uh, in the preseason, you know, talk about, talk about how you balance the realistic part with the fact that, hey, you know, you're playing really well. Well, if you're Coach Frank Hagee, first thing is you rip up that preseason poll and throw out the window because, you know, games aren't played on paper, as we know. But, you know, I feel playing for, playing for the Hammer, so it's a rivalry game. It's a team from just across the street who you know, the kind of did. Augies and the Pipers have kind of traded wins back and forth. You know, it's going to be a good conference game. You don't necessarily always want to, you know, you don't want to start off with a powerhouse early in the conference season. You don't want to dig yourself off a hole. So I think the Augies like their matchup. Like you said, I don't think you can really look too much in that preseason, uh, the preseason rankings. And I expect the Augies to come out firing and keep keep doing what they've been doing, which is you know pass the ball and play Augie football. Like you said they've given themselves a chance. You know, yeah. know the Gophers didn't take advantage of that no, chance. Yeah. You know, they cut the bigger college across the street. You heard Virginia Tech didn't against James Madison. Exactly, against James Madison. So we, yeah, exactly. So really, you know, every game you have to take, you know, just as seriously as the one before the one coming up. So you've seen the Augies do that. That's a very good thing. And as you said, the Pipers are fit, picked to finish last in uh, the preseason poll in the MIAC. And they played, but they played tough. And ripping up that preseason poll that might not be a bad idea for either team. So, in this intense game, you know, Hamlin came in here and won 38-28 last year at homecoming. You know, is this kind of a revenge game for the Aggies? Do you think that they've got that in their mind and will use that as motivation? Oh, absolutely. Any time, any, especially on homecoming, any time a road team comes in and beats you on your home turf, the next time on, they don't, none of these guys have forgotten about it. I'm sure they've had this date marked in their calendar. Because homecoming is the game if you want to win one game all year. It's the homecoming game. You have the alumni there, you have former players there, you have more fans there. You want to win that game. Hamlin came in, they didn't embarrass the Aggies per se. You know, any time you lose on your home field, it's something that you're not going to let happen again. Saturday at 1 o'clock at Edward Nelson Field, the second time that the Pipers have been here in a row. And I'm sure the crowd will come out, you yep. know, a third home game in a row. You're surely starting to build that fan base, as you said. Hopefully we'll see more of you out there. Brett, you'll be there. I'm going to make the trip out, and we're going to root on those Augies, and hopefully we'll be Bring home the home. hammer. Bring home the hammer for the, for the Augsburg Augies football team. We'll see you Saturday at 1 p.m.